This time we'll be looking at units and dimension. We want to look at more examples on how to determine the dimensions of physical quantities. Let's look at this example. Power. What is the dimension of power? You know that power is work done all of our time taken. Hope you can remember that. Work done all of our time. The question is what is work done? From the previous knowledge of physics, we know that work is force times distance all of our time. The question is, what is force? This is how we break it down. We can write this as force is mass times acceleration times distance all over time. So, we know the unit of mass, we know the unit of acceleration, we know the unit of distance, we know the units of time. So we can write this as power is given as kg as a unit of mass. Acceleration is meter per second square. Distance is meter. All over time is seconds. So we can break this down by saying it. P is equal to kg m meter per second square can be written as meter over second square times m all divided by this s all over one which you can evaluate i said that m times m is m square so we can write this as kg m square all over s square times this will go up this comes down as the one all over s which you can write as p equal to kilogram meter square all over s cube that is the unit of power which can be expressed as kilogram meter square we can write the unit of power as this. And this becomes simple. We know the, the dimension of um, mass is m. The dimension of meter is l. That becomes l square. And then the dimension of time is t. That is t raised to power minus 3. That is the dimension of power. Let's also look at this example. What is momentum? Momentum simply means the product of mass and its velocity. What is mass? We know the the units for mass as kilogram and the unit of velocity as meter per second, which can be written as kilogram meter all over second. So we can write this as m l all over t, which can be written as m l t raised to power minus 1. That is the dimension of momentum. Then what of force? 